Welcome back. Good evening. I am out standing in my field. <laughs> anyway, I am out tonight putting out uh, sticky cards. These are insect traps. We're doing some scouting for rootworm. And anyway, we will get to that video soon, hopefully. Uh, but until then, here are some more of my spring videos that I never get put out. We're slowly catching up to getting current. Well, the tractor isn't cooling that well, so uh, I'm going to throw some charge in it. Every year we have to typically charge this, uh, both tractors, um, in the spring. And then they're usually good through the summer, into the fall, late fall, they might start getting not so cold. Um, by next spring you got to charge them again, so I decided instead of calling the mechanic out every time, I was going to try and charge it myself. So we will give this a shot. Good Saturday morning, everyone. I am uh, going to start doing some field work today. Man, that wind. Hopefully you can hear me. I didn't take a lot of video this week. Uh, I've been back from vacation for about a week. I've uh, been working pretty hard. Some long days, getting up at 6.30 every morning, going to work, and then coming out to the farm and working until 9, 9 or so at night. Um, but uh, my buddy helped me this week on this field cultivator, so I didn't get a lot of video because he doesn't want to be on video, so I respect that. So this field cultivator is the one I just bought on auction uh, last month, and it um, it's a John Deere 960. Um, it is 27 and a half feet, or that's the way it was when I bought it. It is set up with shanks. It was set up with shanks every six inches. So um, you can see we've moved the shanks now. You can see where the old ones were. <coughs> We've now changed it to shanks every nine inches, so it uh, really changes this quite a bit. How many? So if you look down the, look straight down, you can see what. Uh, oh, I don't know. I just flipped. Um, you can see what happens, uh, how it looks as you're going through the field. Now there's two right back there that are nine inches apart and you can see the sweeps overlap as you're going through the field so you don't leave any streaks. I can get a little closer view of this. So you kind of the you can see those sweeps overlap by about an inch or so. Um, that is because these are 10 inch sweeps. So we're, we're spaced nine inches apart, but we put a 10 inch sweep on. We get full coverage. There's not a bit of soil that is left undisturbed after we go through the field. Um, it's working pretty decent. We spaced these out because we have so much trash. We're corn on corn. And the when I say trash, I mean corn stalks. You can see all these old corn stalks from last year. Um, get tangled up and they have to flow through flow through this and when they're too close together they just get caught it just bunches and it starts dragging all the trash through the field it makes big we call them beaver huts it makes big beaver huts and then you have a mess out in your field you can't plant through those it's a real mess so spacing these out wider helps the trash to flow through and distribute it evenly across the ground. I will uh, take some video a little bit later when I get this up and rolling. But for the moment, I just wanted to show you what uh, all we took off. So when I started, there were 55 shanks on this 27 and a half foot field cultivator, which works out to six. If you divide that out, it's every six inches. Now we were down to 
um, 35 shanks. I took 20 shanks off. Um, and you can see this wide bar right there. We took that off because it was too wide. So we are narrower now. We are 26 and a half. Maybe we're a foot narrower. I don't remember. Um, but we're just a little bit narrower than we were at the six inch spacing. So um, I was a little worried because the old field cultivator was 25 foot. And I didn't know how... Uh, how well this would pull but the, the old 4455 seems to be doing just fine it doesn't even know it's back there I've been pulling it uh, uh, with the heavy trash about seven mile an hour seems to be about the right spot to get everything to flow through so that's yeah, been working pretty good um, got the planter almost ready to go uh, I got a bunch of footage on that I don't know if that'll go in this video or a different one and um, then we have to put that new tank on the tender, which is way over there, so behind the truck. And uh, my buddy's going to come over this afternoon if he's not uh, too busy and help me get that changed over. So I am going to get this all fired up and go do a little field cultivating before he comes to help me. I'm out field cultivating and uh, I turn around and look and see uh, that. I knew these tires weren't going to last long, but they were holding good. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to order a new tire. I was going to order tires in case this happened and I forgot to do it. So now I'm going to do it. I forgot to record while I was doing this. Um, so. I think I made a video last night that I uh, got the flat tire in the field cultivator and then I pulled one other tire off that had a um, uh, bad tread and I took it to the guy I normally does my implement tires this morning and he said oh tires are getting real hard to find right now blah 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 took my number said he'd call me so anyway I uh, went to work and uh, my boss said uh, call this place and see if they have any so I called them they had three um, they're not the firestones that I had um, they're a Carlisle which is a cheaper tire and they are a tube tire whereas the firestones were tubeless um, so I said, okay, uh, just give them to me. <laughs> I need tires. So this afternoon I ran over there and grabbed the tires and the tubes and uh, just got done mounting them. Uh, two of them, because I only took two off. The third tire, I'm just going to sit up there. I'm just going to keep that. I'm going to throw it in the shop and then whichever tire blows next will get replaced. All right, this is why this is my favorite Milwaukee tool ever, because I can just come in here and I don't need air. I don't need to be out here with a breaker bar. Oh, it's so nice. I can be out in the middle of the field and change the tire. tractors out everywhere. I've seen about uh, six, seven planters going. Uh, this guy looks like he's running a finisher. And guys are in full plant mode. Uh, we still have chance for frost tomorrow night, Saturday night. Um, and there's a real slight chance we could see just a little bit of snow Sunday morning um, but uh, most guys around here don't really care even though the agronomists recommend don't put that corn in the cold ground and let it get cold moisture um, but after that next week looks like we're gonna be in the 60s 70s um, there's one day that could possibly be in the high 70s 
um, and lows only down in like the 50s several nights so um, if you plant today and let it sit in the ground the cold ground for the next three days or plant three days from now when it's warm both of those seeds are gonna emerge at the exact same time so that's why I'm not real real worried um, I've got too much work to do yet so I gotta finish uh, I got 40 acres left to work um, I would have got that done last night if I hadn't lost a tire but I'll do that tomorrow and then uh, I gotta put the tender trailer together or the uh, nurse tank back together get that new tank on there um, I need to go pick rock and uh, then we need to spray our nitrogen and pre-emerge and then we need to work all the ground again to incorporate it and then we can plant so I've got uh, a couple days of work yet to do before we can start planting oh and I need to put these uh, trash whippers on the planter so I got a couple days of work yet before we'll start planting I'm guessing I'll start maybe Wednesday uh, next week but the forecast looks really good all week, so um, it only takes me uh, three days to get everything in, so I'm not too worried. Should be in good shape. Getting the necessities ready for in the tractor and the soft side cooler, a couple drinks in there, throw a nice cold, old, nice cold ice pack in there so it stays cold, and we can go jump in the tractor. This cab is so dusty. I mean, that's how dry we are. I can't even read my gauges in here. Just everything. Armrest, chair, steering wheel, gauges, everything. It's completely dust. We're so dry, we need rain. We need rain bad. Well, as you can see, I'm back in the yard. I don't know if you can tell from here, but the field cultivator is covered in hydraulic fluid, so. I uh, put the field cultivator down and looked back and it was gushing hydraulic fluid. I didn't realize it locked in the constant. So if I put it down right now and you can probably see there, I don't know if you can see that coming out over there. We're going to go back and take a look. I think it's the hydraulic line going to that wing lift cylinder. Got a mess back here. Hydraulic fluid everywhere. Of course hydraulic fluid attracts dust. But it's leaking from, oh yeah, it looks like that hose is split right there. So, gotta trace that hose. Oh, it looks all, like it runs all the way to the middle of the frame, all the way out to that cylinder. That's gonna be a long one. So, I better start taking that hose off and run to work and fix it. I'm gonna wash it up a little bit so by the time I get back with the new hose it should be dry and it'll be better to work on. I got the hose off. There's a big hole right there. You can see right in. It was gushing pretty good. So I'm gonna take this over to work and make a new one. Got the hose all fixed up. Uh, get some clouds rolling in. Heard some thunder. I'm gonna go try to uh, go over to the one field I worked with the other night around midnight. I think it was a little dewy. The stocks wouldn't feed through. I was bunching up and getting mad. So I just decided I'd leave and come back another day when it was nice and warm. So we're gonna go over there now and see if we can get those all broke up. Well, I got a new toy to hopefully uh, make some cool videos here. So we're gonna try it out.
that's it for today. I got uh, some groundwork. Hopefully it'll rain tonight. It's looking dark over here and I hear thunder, so that's a good sign. Hoping it rains. We'll get started planting the next day or two after the rain. And I'll be uh, I'll be excited to plant if we get rain. I'm not real excited to plant right now where everything's dry. But uh, I get to use this tank. That'll be fun too. Alright, that's it for today's video. Bye. Alright, I had to come back for one second. Look at this amazing meal my wife sent with me. Pork steak and green beans. I just had to give her a shout out because this is really good. Thank you.